Hi, I'm George Makris. I'm the product manager for Cases Cooling and Power Supplies at Corsair, and I'm going to show you a quick demo of the Corsair Link software setup. First things first, you can see that we have the ability to identify all the fans in various temperature zones. So our new H100 CPU cooler is in here, which is a dual fan CPU cooler. Uh, this is a beta software. There's some, still some bugs here and there, but we have it plugged into our uh, Airflow Pro memory module and uh, the NVIDIA GPU and LEDs are based on the color uh, that they will be based on the temperature of that GPU. So if I go here to the groups tab, you can actually go down to where the LEDs are located. Right now they're in a family on the GPU temp group and I can say okay I want my LEDs to be based on the temperature of my GPU. So I'm changing it to 35 it will be blue, 45 will be uh, green and then 55 will be red. I'll set that as my temp. You can see right now it's blue in the case. When I run uh, the Fermark demo, for example, something that will heat the GPU up pretty well, you'll watch that LED will change color as the temperature changes. So right now our temp is uh, just shot up to 55 and the uh, LEDs are going red in there. So it's a color, it's a basically a color indication of the temperature. the temperature. So that's just one option. I mean, this is something that's neat you can do. But you can also tie in to you can also tie into the fan uh, speeds. So if I take the one of the fans, for example, and uh, drag it up here and go up to that temp where we have the LEDs. So let's say I take these fans in that same temp group and say, you know what, when that goes on also. I want that fan to go to full speed, and I want this fan to go to full speed also. You can base it on that temp. This is my temp curve, and these are the temperatures here that will run these RPMs. So when this is at 67 degrees, this would run the full RPM that it's capable of doing. And when we close out of this and give it a second, what will happen now is uh, fan 1 and 2, which get identified and, and run at will actually speed up in RPM when it identifies this. So let me close out a firm arc a sec so we can start over and you can watch it happen. So one of the interesting things here, identified the group, fan 1 or fan 2. Close that group. Okay, so now the lighting is going back down because it's cooling down, so it went back down to green. The GPU temp is 45 degrees C, and uh, we're down to 44, so that's what we're at green. Um, as we go uh, up again and we launch Fermark, you should see those uh, temps come higher, and fans should spin up. Nine hundred, twelve hundred. So we're seeing here that the temps are up on the GPU again to sixty-one, color red inside, and fans have spun up in speed. So, one of the real cool things about Corsair Link, uh, and probably the coolest thing, is just that it gives you the com ability to control a lot of different things. Uh, for example, right here we're using a six hundred T background image. But even something like that, you just right click and change system image and we've preloaded all the, the system images from our cases. But there's also some just standard kind of configurations, power supply on top, power supply on bottom, just generic stuff. But if you want to, you can actually click, you know, upload a custom image and pick an image of your case that you took yourself and uh, use that. That'll give you the ability to kind of make it, you know, more personal. Um, the other side of it is, is that when you have like an H100 or an H80 CPU cooler, you get a temp group based on the, the water cool, uh, the water temperature, the liquid temperature inside the cooler. Uh, right now it's at zero C because it's not identified correctly today. Uh, the software is beta, but what happens is you can control those fans based on the temperature of that cooler. So it gives you the pump speed, which is standard, it runs at a 2150 RPM right now. Um, but we can say, okay, let's take that H100 fan. We get three standard modes, low noise, balanced and high performance. Um, there's also a full custom control, which is, you know, you get to define your own curve. So here at this temperature, I want to do, you know, this uh, RPM. And then at this temperature, I want to do this other RPM. 
and that gives you the ability to you know decide if you want to keep it really nice and quiet under uh, low loads or if you want to just add a whole lot of, of performance and you don't really care so much about the noise you get that flexibility so really it's it's more than just kind of a fan controller that you control through software or lighting that you control through software it's kind of like a, a climate control uh, that you can identify I want my CPU cooler to run at this type of temperature I want my GPU to run at this type of temperature I want my hard drives to run at this type of temperature the stuff that comes in the kit for the cooling kit gives you a fan controller that controls up to five fans and it has four analog sensors on it, it comes with three thermistors you can place throughout your case and use those as temperature uh, temperature points so you can create a temperature group based on that temperature anywhere in the case um, that really gives you the flexibility to do stuff and yeah. then over time you can even graph it yeah so of course it's not just monitoring it does a lot of stuff you know a lot of controlling as well and a lot of you know tweaking you know so if you so users can keep it kind of simpler if they want to go complex with it they can do a lot of things yeah so you can keep it real basic and just kind of let it take care of it for you and say hey i want to run low noise and then it has its own profile built in but it also has a full custom control and flexibility so you know for example there's stuff in the future we'll be doing where you'll be able to identify the power that your gpu is using in real time and what that'll allow you to do is say, hey, you know what, when my GPU detects a power spike, turn on my intake fan uh, to 100%, turn on my exhaust fan to 100%. And what that'll do is that'll keep your GPU running cooler before it actually heats up. The way that typical GPUs work, you know, the, the fan on it only spins up when it detects it gets hotter. But what we can do is we can actually cool the entire case better so that, you know, the, the super loud fan on those high-end GPUs will just go away and won't be as annoying because the rest of your case will kind of balance it out mm. and you won't have to worry about it. Now just to finish off, last question, mm -hmm. uh, when, when, when will this be available? When? We should see uh, two kits be available, there's a cooling kit and then there's a cooling and lighting kit, so if some of you guys don't care about lighting, we'll be able to, to buy a kit without it. Um, they should be available late July, early August, uh, and the price points I believe are $99 and $139. Uh, full software available from Corsair.com, will be custom. Uh, downloadable and updatable and uh, should run pretty well for everything you guys need. Thank you. Mm -hmm.